Hi everyone. What I'm going to attempt to do today is shoot some instant pictures with my Rolleiflex. This is a 1936 old standard Rolly. Um, I've got a plate film back on it. What I'm going to attempt to do is use this Fujifilm Instax instant film, put it in the plate back, take some pictures, one at a time obviously. Then what you have to do, and I will show you later, you have to put the film back into the cartridge, back into the Instax camera for the processing. It basically just goes through rollers that disperses the uh, chemicals, but to do that the easiest way is to put it back into this camera. So. We'll give it a go and see how it goes. Okay, well I'm going to show you here. I've got the camera over my shoulder so you can kind of see it, how I'm doing it with my hands. <clears throat> Is transferring the film from the Fujifilm camera to the Rolleiflex which obviously all this is going to have to be done inside a dark room or a dark bag which is what I use. I haven't got a dark room. Okay, so what you have to do all by feel in a dark bag in a dark room you take this cartridge out of the back of the Fujifilm camera it's just a cartridge then take your plate back. Don't need to put the Rolleiflex in the dark bag, just these two. Okay, then what you do, if you push on this part here, slide up the film and it'll pop out. <clears throat> Take it out. Open up your film back. The dark side of the film you can actually feel by touch because there's a border around the side that where the picture appears when you process it. There's a border around. On the other side, which is the exposure side, there isn't. And also there's a bigger part at one end of the film than there is at the other. If you put that up, and what I do is I just tuck it under there if you can see that, just tuck it under that little lip and it just holds it tight. Try and, obviously doing it by feel, just try and centre it up, feeling at the edges. Put your dark slide back on and that's good to go. Put your cartridge back in your Fujifilm camera and close it up all inside the dark bag then you're all good to go. So when you're going to take your picture, we'll do while we're here, then I'll show you the reverse. You plate back on your camera, you've got your settings already of course, you've, you're set up and focused. Open that up, release the pressure plate, take your shot, pressure plate, upwards B is, means exposed, close it up and your picture is ready for processing. So again inside a dark bag you'll have your Fujifilm camera, your, car, your Fujifilm camera and your plate bag with your one picture you took. I've got several of these so I can take several pictures. So as easy as this inside the dark bag, take the cartridge out Open this up, take out the film, find the slot on the top, make sure this is the right way round, dark side to the front of the cartridge. You're finding the slot and you're putting the picture back into the cartridge. Okay, then you're putting that back in your camera, then everything can come out, out of the dark bag. 
Then what you do, you've got to process that picture you just put in. So you turn your camera on, cover the lens, I usually use a bit of a dark bag to make sure the lens is properly covered and then fire off a shot. And there you go, your picture will come out and start to process. Hi all, I'm back. Right, what I've done, I've been outside and taken one picture and I've done one inside. What I did, I took the same or very similar picture with the Fujifilm camera to give me a bit of a benchmark of um, what we're looking at. Because although this is a lot of fun, you would expect, I think, the pictures from the Rolleiflex to be better than the pictures from the Fuji. Even bearing in mind, we've got a 1936 camera versus a 2014 camera. I would still expect the Rolleiflex to be better. It might be better with a newer Rolleiflex, coated lenses, what have you, you know, this is your bog standard, very old Rolly, but I would still expect it to be better. So let's have a look. You have to excuse my um, choice of subject, not fantastic. Uh, I took the first one in my kitchen, and there's my benchmark picture. It's just a picture of <laughs> my refrigerator with lots of junk on it but some detail some contrast we've got shadow white that's a window in the top left hand corner on the slant I thought it'd be a good test next I went outdoors and just shot this just outside my house there's a bit of a green just shot a tree, a bit of very grey sky today, but quite bright. So this is again is the one with the Fuji. Here's a picture from outside with the Fuji. And here are the pictures with the Rolly. As you can see. As you'll know, the uh, Rolly is a square format, so you do get a bit of a, a bar at the bottom of your picture where it's cut, but that's not what we're doing here. There you go. That is an instant photo taken with a 1936 Rolleiflex. I'll put some stills up at the end so you can really see these and see what you think, some comparisons. And here's the one taken outside. It looks like I did get a little, little bit of um, light leakage somewhere here, as you can see on the bottom left. And again, the black bar where it's cropped because of your uh, square format of your rolly. But from my first attempt, I'm very happy. Instant pictures on a 1936 Rolleiflex. Okay, so there we go. Instant photography with the Rolleiflex. I'm not pretending to have in invented this idea, by the way. I believe it's some kind, some guy in Hong Kong did it and it is on the internet somewhere. But um, actually, a young lady in my local camera shop, Camera World, put me onto the idea and I thought I'd have a go. Got a day off today, bit of fun. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I'll, as I said, I'll put some stills up at the end. You can see for yourself the quality and what you think. It would probably probably be a lot better with a better quality Rolleiflex. Um, I have got other Rolleiflex, but this is the only one that I've got the film back that fits. So I would love to try it on my uh, 3.5T. Um, maybe that's something for the future. But there you go. Have a go. Let me know what you think and how you get on. Any questions? You know where to leave them. Thank you.